Next on BGSU Brain Game, it is Eastwood versus Riverdale. You better buckle up for a colossal cranial collision. Only one team can lead victorious. Who's it gonna be? Only one way to find out. BGSU's Brain Game starts right now. And welcome to the BGSU Brain Game. It is Eastwood versus Riverdale. Let's meet our teams. Starting off with Riverdale, tell us who you are. I'm Colton Klingler, I'm a senior. To my left is Olivia Bolenbol, and she's a senior. And on my right is Jenna Melroy, senior. And who is your coach? My coach is Miss Christy Thacker. All right, welcome to Riverdale. Eastwood, tell us who you are. I am Curtis Nutter, I'm a senior at Eastwood High. On my left is Henry Howard, a freshman. And on my right is Cameron Brinker, also a freshman. And our coach is the wonderful Mrs. Karen Smoyer. I was going to say give a shout out to your coach. You're one step ahead of me. All right. Uh, going to start things off with our toss-up round. There are 10 questions in this round. They're worth 10 points apiece. No deduction for an incorrect answer. So have some fun in this round. Shake off some nerves. You may confer before buzzing in, and you can steal a question in this round. Riverdale, Eastwood, are you ready? Here we go. Identify the nation located mainly in Africa that is home to the Aswan High Dam, where one can visit the cities of Giza, Cairo, and Suez. That would be Eastwood, Curtis. Egypt. Egypt is correct. Identify the massive, extremely remote and bright sources of energy visible from Earth that current theories suggest are at the center of very, that would be Eastwood, Curtis. Nebulas. Incorrect, very distant galaxies. Riverdale, who would you like to steal? Time, that would be quasars is what we need there. Of which Western Hemisphere island nation is St. George's, St. George the capital, dubbed the Island of Spice. It was invaded by the U.S. following a coup in 1983. That would be Eastwood Curtis. The Virgin Islands. Incorrect. Uh, Riverdale, would you like to steal? That would be Jenna. Jamaica. Incorrect. <laughs> Grenada is what we needed there. Located at the tip of the Horn of Africa, this African nation it is, is an oft-used refuge for pirates. Identif that would be Eastwood Cameron. Somalia. Somalia is correct. Capital of Mogadishu. At 6,643 feet, this dome is the highest point in the Great Smoky Mountain National Park and the state of Tennessee. Identify this dome whose name begins with the letter C. Time. That would be Klingman's Dome. Name the president who is on the no longer in circulation $100,000 bill. That would be Eastwood Curtis. FDR. Incorrect. Riverdale, would you like to steal? That would be Woodrow Wilson. Woodrow Wilson. Identify the American author who wrote about Roderick and Madeline's, Roderick and Madeline's home in the fall of the House of Usher. That would be Riverdale, that would be Colton. Poe? Yes, Edgar Allan Poe, yes. Which two word phrase that includes the words air, H-E-I-R, identifies one whose right to a certain property or title cannot be denied if he outlives the ancestor? That would be the heir apparent. Although this U.S. state was given to William Penn in 1704, he allowed the region to form its own legislature. Name this state that cast the deciding vote for independence at the Continental Congress, and who, that would be Eastwood Curtis. Pennsylvania. Incorrect, and whose capital is Dover. Riverdale would like to steal, that would be Jenna. Delaware. Delaware is what we needed there, yes. With which ancient sage who was a student of Socrates and who founded, that would be Eastwood Henry. Plato. Plato, that's right. Necessity is the mother of invention. That is all 10 questions in this round. Let's take a look at our score. We have Riverdale with 20 points and currently in the lead with just 30 points. 
is Eastwood. A very, very close game indeed. You're going to stick around. Our risk and reward round is coming up next. Stay tuned. And welcome back to BGSU Brain Game. Eastwood, 30 points. Riverdale at 20 points. Looks like we have some new players here. Olivia, you've moved into the center spot at Riverdale. You want to tell us who your new team member is? This is Alex Eaton. He's a soft junior. 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 A junior. All right. Eastwood, a whole new lineup for you. Tell us who you are, starting with the center spot. I'm Avery Patchett. I'm a junior. To my left is Justin Lang, a junior, and Joshua Beard, also a junior. All right. Welcome to all of our new players. Uh, this is the risk and reward round. Both teams, you will receive the same nine questions. They're worth 10 points apiece. No deduction for an incorrect answer. Our 10th question, however, is our risk and reward question. You will have the opportunity, based upon a topic, to risk up to 30 points in five-point increments. You get it right, you get those bonus points. You get it wrong, unfortunately, you will lose those number of points that you have decided to risk. If you don't like the topic, though, you can simply just pass. All right, Eastwood, 30 points. You're sticking around. Riverdale, you are off to isolation. All right, Eastwood, are you ready for your risk and reward round? It starts right now. If you drop a feather and a five-pound weight in an airless tube, which will land first? That would be Joshua. They will land at the same time. Correct. In the Lord of the Rings trilogy, what was Aragorn's elfish name? Aragorn's, I should say. Uh, that would be Justin. Legolas. Incorrect. Estelle is what we needed there. Alfred Lord Tennyson's poem, Charge of the Light Brigade, was about a battle in which war? That would be Avery. World War One. Incorrect. The Crimean War. What do we call an isolated hill with steep sides and a flat top? That would be Avery. Plateau. We accept plateau. We cannot accept plateau. A butte or a mesa we would have accepted. Since 2016, how many cars typically start in a NASCAR race? That would be Justin. 40. 40 is correct. Serendipity means a happy accident. Spell serendipity. Avery. S-E-R-E-N-D-I-P-I-T-Y. Correct. When the ABC powers met with the United States to prevent war between the U.S. and Mexico, they meet or they met on the Canadian side of a famous tourist destination. Where did they meet? That would be Avery. Niagara Falls. Niagara Falls is correct. George Surratt developed what neo-impressionist technique that involved dabbing the paint rather than extended brush strokes? I can see you trying to work it out. Pointillism. Pointillism. Fast flowing narrow air currents found in the atmosphere that affect weather on Earth are known by what name? That would be Joshua. Wind tunnels? Incorrect. It's the jet stream. All right. We have our risk and reward question. It is modern catastrophes. You can risk up to 30 points in five point increments, or you can simply pass. Oh, yeah, yeah, um, <laughs> can we risk 15 points? 15 points indeed. All right, Eastwood, 15 points on ca modern catastrophes. On January 12th, 2010, this Caribbean tectonic plate and the North, um, the Caribbean tectonic plate and the North American plate pushed against each other causing an earthquake measuring 7.0 on the Richter scale. What nation was devastated by this quake? That would be Avery. Haiti. Haiti is correct. You get the bonus points, and that is the end of the risk and reward round for you. It is now time for you, and off to isolation you go. All right, let's bring back in Riverdale. Welcome back from isolation, Riverdale. I hope it was fantastic and everything you hoped for. 
Uh, it is time for the risk and reward round for you. Are you ready? Here we go. If you drop a feather and a five pound weight in an airless tube, which will land first? That would be Olivia. Five pound weight. Incorrect. They will both land at the same time. In the Lord of the Rings trilogy, what was Aragorn's elvish name? Stell is what we needed there. Alfred Lord Tennyson's poem, A Charge of the Light Brigade, was about a battle in which war? That would be Olivia. The Crimean War. Correct. What do we call an isolated hill with steep sides and a flat top? That would be Olivia. Plateau. Incorrect. We're not accepting plateau, correct? It's Butte or a Mesa is what we needed there. Since 2016, how many cars typically start in a NASCAR race? That would be Olivia. 12. 40 is what we needed there, but great attempt. Serendipity means a happy accident. Spell serendipity. That would be Olivia. S-E-R-E-N-D-I-P-T-Y. Incorrect. P-I-T-Y. Close, but not quite. When the ABC powers met with the United States to prevent war between the U.S. and Mexico, they met on the Canadian side of a famous tourist destination. Where did they meet? That would be Alex. Uh, Niagara Falls. Niagara Falls is correct. George Surratt developed what neo-impressionist technique that involved dabbing the paint rather than extended brush strokes? That would be Olivia. Pointism. Will we expect pointism? We will accept that, yes. Fast flowing, narrow air currents found in the atmosphere that affect weather on Earth are known by what name? That would be Alex. Turbulence. Incorrect. Jet stream is what we wanted there. Risk and reward time. The topic is modern catastrophes. You can risk up to 30 points in five point increments, but if you don't like the topic, you can simply pass. Riverdale, what are you thinking? Uh, we'll risk 10. 10 points for Riverdale on modern catastrophes. On January 12th, 2010, the Caribbean tectonic plate and the North American plate pushed against each other, causing an earthquake measuring 7.0 on the Richter scale. What nation was devastated by this quake? That would be Alex. Haiti? Haiti is correct. Bonus 10 points for you. That is the end of the risk and reward round for Riverdale. It's now time to clear our scores. Let's bring back in Eastwood so they can see where they stand. Welcome back to Eastwood. Let's see where we stand. Riverdale has 60 points. Eastwood has 85 points. A very close competition indeed. That means you're going to want to stick around. Our next round is our category round where things can change very, very quickly. We have questions worth 10, 15, 20, 25, and 30 points, and deductions start. Stay tuned. And welcome back to BGSU Brain Game. We have Riverdale, 60 points, Eastwood, 85 points, very close competition indeed. Riverdale, looks like you have a new player. Who has joined your team? This is Caden Smith, and he's a junior. All right, welcome to you. Eastwood, who has rejoined the team? We have Curtis Nutterback. He's a senior. All right, welcome back. And welcome back to all of our returning players for this round. This is the category round. There are six questions, or excuse me, six categories to choose from. Inside each category are questions worth 10, 15, 20, 25, and 30 points. But you are now on alert because deductions start now. If you go for 10, you are risking 10. You go for 30, you're risking 30. There is one double or nothing question hidden in there. Who knows, that could be a big game changer. We'll wait and see. You may confer before buzzing in and you can steal a question in this round. 
Riverdale, since you are at 60 points, you get to make the first selection. Social Studies C for 10. Social Studies C for 10 points. Correctly identify each of the following from Social Studies that begins with the letter C. Nation in Southeast Asia near Vietnam. Its capital is, uh, that would be Riverdale. Caden. Cambodia. Cambodia is correct. Riverdale in control. Social Studies C15. Social Studies C again for 15. Village near Boston, site of the first fighting in the American Revolution. That would be Riverdale. Caden. Concord. Concord is correct. Riverdale in control. And we are tied, ladies and gentlemen. Social Studies C20. Social Studies C for 20 points. 38th state to enter the Union, nicknamed the Centennial State. That would be Eastwood. Avery. Colorado. Colorado, correct. Eastwood takes control and the lead. Um, constellations for 10. Constellations for 10. Identify each of the following related to constellations. Book in which Ptolemy enumerated 48. That would be constellations. Eastwood, in control. Um, six letter words that end in jer for 10. The six letter words that end in G-E-R or jer for 10. Identify each of the following words ending in the letters G-E-R based on the given definition and part of speech. A physical desire for food, a noun. That would be Eastwood, Joshua. Hunger. Correct, and I am hungry. All right, Eastwood in control. Uh, six letter words end in G-E-R for 15. Six letter words for 15. It's a noun, a sharp pointed knife used for stabbing. That would be Eastwood, Curtis. Dagger. Dagger is correct. Eastwood still in control. Six letter words for 20. Six letter words for 20 points. This is the double or nothing question open to all buzzers. It is a noun, any of several fierce, sturdy, burrowing animals with long claws. That would be Eastwood Curtis. Badger. Badger, double or nothing. You got it. Eastwood in control. Six letter words for 25. Six letter word for 25. It is a noun, a trough, a trough, trough or an open box for, that would be Eastwood Curtis. Manger. Manger is correct. Eastwood in control, stepping on the gas. Six letter words for 30. Six letter words for 30 points. It is a noun. Slang term for a cranky and unusually elder man. That would be Riverdale. Olivia. Geezer. Incorrect. Uh, Eastwood would like to steal. Time. Codger is what we need. C-O-D-G-E-R. Uh, Eastwood in control. Israel for 10. Israel for 10. Identify each of the following related to the government, geography, or history of Israel. That was not a question. <laughs> that was a description. <laughs> First question in this category is, two colors of Israel's flag. That would be Riverdale, Caden. White and blue. Correct. Uh, Riverdale takes control. Social studies C for 25. Social studies for 25. Cattle trail from Texas to, Ab to Abilene, Kansas. Time, the Chisholm Trail is what we needed there. Uh, Riverdale, though, you're still in control. Social Studies C for 30. Social Studies for 30. Incan capital located in the high Andes Mountains of Peru. Go. That would be Eastwood, Avery. Quetzalcoatl. Incorrect. Riverdale, would you like to steal? Time. Cusco is what we needed there. Riverdale in control. Israel for 15. Israel for 15 points. Symbol located in the center of the Israeli flag. That would be Eastwood, Joshua. Star of David. Star of David is correct. Eastwood in control. Famous 15. 
Famous speeches for 15, got it. Identify each of the following from these famous speeches. Who said it? Who gave the famous give me liberty or give me death speech? That would be Riverdale Colton. Henry. Patrick Henry is correct. Riverdale in control. Famous speeches for 10. Famous speeches for 10 points. After the delivery of this short cemetery dedication speech, that would be Eastwood. Curtis. Uh, Abraham Lincoln. Incorrect. The crowd was slow to applaud. The speaker delivered this masterpiece of literature and oratory in November 19th, 1863. What name was given to this oration? <laughs> End of round. That would be the Gettysburg Address. Let's take a look at our score we have. Uh, we have Riverdale at 80 points. And we have Eastwood at 170 points. You're going to want to stick around because our brainstorm round is coming up next. Stay tuned. And welcome back to BGSU's Brain Game. We have some new players and some returning players. Uh, Riverdale, who has rejoined the team? Alex Eaton. All right, welcome to you. Eastwood, new lineup with some friendly faces. Uh, tell us who you are again, starting with the center. So I'm Henry Howard, I'm a freshman. To my left, this is Cam Brinker, he's a freshman. And then to my right, this is Justin Lang, he's a junior. All right, welcome back to all of our returning players. This is the Brainstorm Round. Questions are worth 20 points apiece, negative 20 points for an incorrect answer. You may confer before buzzing in, but you cannot, I repeat, you cannot steal a question in this round. Still, anybody's game. Riverdale, Eastwood, are you ready? Brainstorm starts right now. What is the term for the evaporation of water from a plant's leaves? Eastwood, Justin. Transpiration. Transpiration is correct. Identify the aromatic plant that is the favorite food of the koala bear. That would be Riverdale, Olivia. Eucalyptus. Correct. Among bodily organs, which is considered the largest and includes the dermis? That would be Riverdale, Alex. The skin. The skin is correct. Identify the Central American country whose capital is Tegu Te Tegucigalpa. That would be Riverdale, Olivia. Um, Ecuador. Incorrect. Honduras is what we needed there. From the years 1871 to 1918, what title was used for German rulers? That would be Alex. Kaiser? Say again, please. Kaiser. Kaiser is correct. Ticonderoga and Eberhard Faber are both types of which writing tool? That would be Riverdale, Alex. Pencil. They are indeed pencils. With which of the five senses would one associate gustatory cells? That would be Riverdale, Olivia. Smell. Incorrect. Taste buds is what we needed there. Name the Native American leader who defeated Custer at the Little Bighorn. That would be Riverdale, Olivia. Crazy Horse. Incorrect. Sitting Bull is what we needed there. This two-word phrase was used by the Romans to refer to what is now present-day Turkey. Time, that would be Asia Minor in the human body. How many vertebrae are there? Time, that would be 33. Identify the U.S. president or the president of the United States who oversaw the end of the Reconstruction period in the United States. That would be Riverdale, Olivia. Grant. Incorrect, Rutherford B. Hayes. Identify the chemical element that currently has the highest atomic mass and highest, that would be Riverdale, Alex. Uh, Oganesson. Incorrect, Unoctium is what we need there. 
This wondrous horse of Alexander the Great died of battle wounds in 326 BC. What was his name? Bessephalus is what we needed there. Let's take a look at our score. Riverdale 60 Eastwood, our winner with 200 points. Let's give both these teams a huge round of applause. Spirit of good sportsmanship, let's come out, meet in the middle, shake hands, bump some fists, and we'll see you at the next BGSU Brain Game. Come on, get some TV time.